Where did I leave that deer carcass? Pool of blood. The deer was here, but the grizzly must have taken it to a quiet place to eat it. Let's try to find where. Let's go! There's a trail of deer blood leading into the forest. I'll need your skills, Darius, because I can't see anything. The trail stops here. Do you smell anything? No, too many different scents. And the rain doesn't help. There must be something. This high grass makes it difficult to find anything. Fine. Deep paw prints. Very wide, the size of two hands. That's him. He's been here. Headed into the forest. Go get it! No more noise from now on. The tracks end here. Too many leaves on the ground, and the rain has washed away the rest. Time to follow him. Fine. Let's follow his tracks. Let's find it. Offense is deeper. The grizzly's limping. Maybe he stepped in a trap. I don't see any more tracks. Where did he go? <coughs> That's an animal in pain. He's definitely injured. If we find any blood, it's his. What is it, boy? Blood on the tree. You've rubbed here to mark your territory, but this ain't your territory. This is my home, and you're not welcome here. Go! More blood on the trees. We're on the right path. He's near. This way. From now on, whatever happens, you're not to get too close. I've got him in my sights.
Huh. He won't be returning again. It's never a good feeling to kill such an impressive animal. But he got a taste for blood and might have killed again. One eye is dead. Damn it, Dexter. I was about to get 50 people looking for you. Only 50? <laughs> I was hoping for the whole county. Well, if you can call me, I guess you're still in one piece. Just about. How are you feeling? Like a ranger who's just killed the last grizzly in Colorado. Like you said, you didn't have a choice. He could have killed more hikers. I know, I know. But still, it's never easy killing an animal. Well, the good news is that thanks to you, we caught the poachers. And the frosting on the cake. They all suffered through a very uncomfortable colon cleanse. <laughs> <laughs> Go get some rest. Thanks, Harry. Good night. Good night. Let's go back to the cabin. You were amazing, boy. Tomorrow, you can have your fill of Bonios. Night, buddy. Maybe Alice left me a message. That would be nice. I could do with hearing your voice right now. Oh, no message. Well, she must be sleeping. I'll call her tomorrow. Uh, this trusty radio also deserves a rest. <clears throat> no alarm for once. No particular time to wake up. Nothing. Damn it! Damned alarm clock? I thought I'd switched it off. What's that? It's Harry's badge. Dear Dexter, by the time you read this letter, I'll no longer be a ranger. I don't deserve to wear the badge anymore, unlike you. I'll have turned myself into the sheriff by the time you read this. All those bears are dead because of me. I need to pay for my stupidity. Harry, we could have sorted this out between us. I also want to apologize for my behavior. I was crushed there for a while. I still am a little, to be honest. I need some time on my own. Time to reflect on things. Take care of yourself, Dex. Your buddy, Harry. P.S. I draw the line at saying that you and Alice make a great couple. Harry. Dexter? Alice! Harry told me everything. How are you? Uh, could have done with a few more hours sleep. Did I wake you up? No, I was up. I'm glad you called. Poachers and a killer grizzly dealt with in a single night. Everyone's calling you the Super Ranger. Uh, I don't know about that, but it was pretty intense. You deserve a day off, at least. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot to do here. How about breakfast at Annie's? Eggs, bacon, toast, a strong coffee? Hmm... And some Bonios for Darius? What are those? Oh, just some gross dog treats, but he loves them. Okay, sure. Some bony whatevers for Darius. Okay? Okay, great. Are you picking me up? Sure. I'll be there in 30 seconds. Hello? Alice? 